This is the best new defense to use in Madden 23. It's lights out versus the run. Shuts down any pass play. And gets interceptions and sacks all game. So if you want to see what defense I'm using to get results like this, Got stick around after the intro. The is here. For the cheapest, fastest, most reliable muck coins on the market, check out my coin sponsors at AOEAH.com and use discount code MONEY for 3% off. Link in the description below. In today's video, I will once again be using my Buffalo Bills offense and Kansas State Chiefs defensive ebook as they are two of my favorite playbooks to use in the game right now. And I'm always trying to give you guys new plays to use from different playbooks. This is the first video that I recorded using the New England Patriots, and that is because I started a trend last week where I'm going to use a new team every week based on what you guys suggest in the comment section. Right now, the two teams with the most votes for next week are the Jaguars and the Steelers, but there is still time for that to change. So let me know in the comment section what you guys want me to use this upcoming week. Before I get into the gameplay, though, if you guys are enjoying the content and want to see See more please make sure to be a subscriber hit the like button let me know in the comment section as it really helps out the video and the channel and if you want to see more money plays from this or any of my ebooks all you have to do is click the links in the description or the top pin comment to have them sent to the email of your choice for instant download for my depth chart suggestions of the patriots the only real changes that i made was at receiver and in the secondary in this video i went all speed with taekwon thornton as the number one receiver nelson aguilar at the number two and cornerback marcus jones who is a zero overall at the number three this was highly experimental and i don't necessarily recommend this setup as the setup I used in yesterday's offensive video worked much better. I will have a link in the description if you guys want to check that video out as well. On defense, the starting safeties in Adrian Phillips and Devin McCourty both have higher man coverages than most of the Patriots corners. So I started Kyle Duggar and Jabril Peppers at the starting safety spot so that I can move them to my second and third cornerbacks. I start the game out on offense and my favorite formation right now from this playbook is the gun normal while off close. I just made a gameplay video about this offense earlier this week as well as a full breakdown of this offense on my second channel. So if you guys want to see more about this, I'll once again have links in the description as well as an on-screen pop at the end of the video, so stick around for that. On the first play, my opponent is right in the area of where he needs to be, showing that he knows how to play defense already as I squeeze it into a tight window. When I get back to the huddle, though, I see that he is in cover for drop defense, so I go right to my escape play. As all I have to do to split these safeties is put the tight end on a streak. Break yourself, fool! <laughs> but he slows down to catch it rather than run through it for the score, which ultimately cost me a touchdown as I run it closer on the next play, but the drive stalls and I decide to play it safe and kick a field goal on the first drive. On defense, I'm going to be using two different plays. Both of them cover one man defenses out of the quarter normal, which has been one of my favorite formations all year. The pass defense and my base defense I'm going to use is going to be the cover one thief. And for my run defense and blitzing, I'm going to be using the DB strike one. To set up the run defense for either play, you just have to pinch the defensive line to close up the gaps, which is deep pad to left and down. On the first play, though, I tried to line the secondary manually, and I didn't quite get the setup in as he runs the ball to get a seven-yard gain. He hurries me up on the next play, but I get the full setup in this time as I pinch the defensive line once again only this time I press the DBs which is Y or triangle and down the left stick and shade over the top which is Y or triangle and up on the right stick. I do this so that the blitzing cornerbacks get down to the line of scrimmage which really helps on the blitz as he runs right around the offensive tackle to get a hit forcing a bad throw. Nope. On the next play, I switch my base defense to cover one thief, and this time all I have to do is align the coverage and use the yellow zone safety. And if I pause it right here, you can see everything is locked up. I didn't press the DBs this time, and the result is much better in coverage as we almost get an interception. We also got good pressure again as both edge rushers, including the blitzing cornerback, almost get to the quarterback. He decides to go for it on fourth down, so I chose my base defense. I pinched the defensive line one more time, pressed the cornerbacks, and you can see how the run defense sets up with no lanes in inside and these two cornerbacks outside for containment as he tries to run inside and I shoot the gap for the stop. How about new? Back on offense he is still running cover four and I have a lot of one play touchdowns against that that he hasn't seen yet so I switch over to the Y sale play that I use in my last offensive video as this is also a one play touchdown against cover four defense. All you have to do is motion across the B route and put the Y route and X route on fades and the B route easily splits the safeties against cover four only this time he was actually in a cover three lock which torches it even easier. Back on defense, he keeps bulking up the two tight end sets so he can try to bully me and run the ball. Against looks like this, you might want to match and switch out to a larger defense if your opponent stays in it. He tries to hit me with a jet sweep on the next play, but I beat him to the edge. 
before he tries to hit me with a fake jet sweep on the next play that gets completely blown up in the backfield. And now he is going for it on fourth down once again that he barely picks up on a quick slant. I often find myself pressing the outside corners in this defense, but when I do, I also shade over the top to protect against deep routes like this. Only this time he beats me with a streak. And that is understandable as this was his best receiver against one of my safeties playing cornerback. He then starts coming out a three tight end set to try to overpower my smaller defense, but it doesn't get much as I force him to a third and long that somehow his tight end beats my cornerback back into coverage. Back on offense, he still looks like he is in cover four, so I go right back to the escape play, and we get another big play, but I don't get the runoff I expect as we once again get tackled in field goal range. And now the Madden BS starts happening as my running back can't catch a simple pass. I try to hit the wide sail play again, thinking that I can jump in front of the safety and body the defender. What? But my jump animation gets completely canceled out by his defender who jumps right through Thornton for the pick. Bullshit. Back on defense, he is still using a lot of unique trick play concepts that I have to watch out for as he starts getting some consistency on offense to the running backs. He then comes out in a double stack look, which I know is a very glitchy setup against man. So I make a new adjustment that is going to be a very important setup for the rest of this video. As on the next play, I change the deep single high safety into a deep head half outside to take away the deep ball. I choose this side because it's to the open side of the field and that's where most people like to run their offense. You can tell he didn't see that coming as he tries to take a shot. Gotcha, bitch. And we're going the other way. I start by running the ball as I still have two timeouts before trying to go deep over the middle only to see my jump button fail again. And now I'm thinking either my controller is broken or the game is. But for some reason my jump slash catch button is still working fine on defense. Gotcha, bitch. As we get the ball right back on the next play with a nice user lurk. I decide to just work the running back since my receivers are tripping all over their own feet and failing me all of a sudden, but I eventually run out of timeouts and have to take another field goal. In the second half, he keeps coming out in two tight end sets and trying to overpower me, but it isn't working. And I am now making the safety adjustment to deep half every single play. Before he gets the first down run on the next play, he then hurries me up and uses the jet sweep, which is a really good option against man coverage, is this something that I do myself, before hitting the zig route on the next play for another first down. And now he's driving in the scoring range before he gets a big run to get inside the 10. Once inside the red zone, he tries the halfback swing pass one more time. Bring that ass here, boy. Before he tries to run it again to get some of those yards back. Now inside the five, since there's no deep routes anymore, I am now pressing my DBs every single play and shading underneath. And on the next play, I expect him to run a zig route to the outside since he did that early in the drive. Gotcha, bitch. Now backed up against my own goal line, I take a short route to get some room before running the ball to get the first down. On the next play, the running back is covered, so I playmaker him up, and he is wide open, only to see Jones floated over his head by a mile. What? It was closer to Sertain than it was the running back. What the fuck? I keep working the running backs as they catch it sometimes for another first down. On the next play, I try to pass with the Y sail again, and I actually had a big play. <laughs> but I accidentally pump faked in my excitement to take a huge sack instead to end the drive. Back on defense, he is still trying to bulk up for the run, so I call a blitz cover one and bring my safety down to get a huge stop for a loss before he goes back to throwing to the running back for a short gain. And now we have a fourth and seven that could decide the game. I make a few new adjustments on this play as I know he has a pass for the first down, so I use her the deep safety instead of putting him into a deep half and shade underneath for short routes. Not that that matters though, the pressure gets right through for a huge play. Now all he needs is a first down or field goal to seal this game. So I run the ball on first down to get a few before trying to run on second down to get nothing. I rarely use the Patriots, so I have no idea if this kicker can kick a field goal from here. So I try to pass on the next play only to get instantly sacked myself. What the hell is going on? And now I have to punt away to give him another try. Even the punt goes out of bounds by the smallest margin. He has no timeouts, but he's still running the ball to start the drive, which is fine by me, as all I have to do is keep the clock going. We keep him in bounds on the next play before he hurries me up and gets the best of both worlds, as he gets the first down and he catches the ball out of bounds, stopping the clock, before we keep him in bounds on the next play with only 8 seconds left. And now I decide to switch defenses for the first time in this game, and that was a mistake, as I choose the man up 3 deep to try to prevent him from scoring. This defense is essentially the same cover 2 man defense that I've been using the last couple of weeks, only with a deep middle third, so I figure that I'm safe all over the field only to see him catch a touchdown to win the game with three seconds left i was besides myself after leaving the entire game but i'm kind of glad it happened as it shows the weakness of defenses like this that cover one doesn't have as i wasn't even pressing here and i still got beat so expect to see me in cover one defense much more in the future as i only really gave up one touchdown the entire game while using this defense and i gave up one touchdown on the one play that i didn't so if that's that's the video if you guys want to see more videos like this in the future please make sure to be a subscriber hit the like button let me know in the comment section other than that, I will have more videos from the offense that I was using popping up on screen, so if you guys want to check that out, 
Just click the links as I'm sure to help with your game. And that's it. Thanks for watching, man. Mason out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my bids and more. Link in the description below.